let's talk about some of the information that you can find on a paint tube. Now, I'm not gonna cover everything that's on your paint tube. I'm just gonna cover today pigment designations. So you can see here we have a tube of ivory black. It's the manufacturer's name. And if I turn this over, look here, pigment PBK9. That means pigment black K9. So this is a single mixture. There's one pigment in here. If we look at our primary yellow Winsor Newton gouache and turn it over, you can see we have pigment PY74 and PY138. I know that's really hard to read. This is a mixture and that makes sense because this is a primary yellow, which means they don't want it too cold or too warm. So it's gonna be a mixture of two different yellows to give you a nice neutral. And um, by the way, PY74 is um, Arulide yellow and 138 is quinophalone yellow. So if you have those two colors, you could actually make your own neutral primary. Now keep in mind sometimes that paint that is not manufactured in the United States will have different designations, so you'll have to look them up. So this is Holbein, which is one of my favorites. And if we flip it around here and find the pigments, where are they? I know they're on here. Where are you, pigments? No, oh, there it is. Oh, it's so small. So this is BV10 and PW6. So PW6 is titanium white. You'll memorize that pretty quick. I don't know what this is. Holbein has its own color chart, so you're gonna have to look that up because most pigments will begin with P. PR for pigment red, and then whatever variation it is will have the number, et cetera. So, um, BV is something else. So I do know Holbein has its own information online, so you can look that up. Um, another example, um, this is uh, my Mary Italian gouache, and it has the name of the paint in several languages, but there is no pigment designation on here. So I'm sure 249 means something, so if you wanna find out a little bit more about this paint, you could go ahead and look that up, like the internet is our friend, right? So let's move to something really easy. There's a reason I love golden paint. Uh, I use golden acrylic for all of my acrylic paintings. And if we look here at our cerulean blue hue, which is a great color, everybody loves cerulean blue. It's the color we use often to paint a beautiful blue sky. And right here on the front, we can see that's a mixture. Oh, so let's turn it over. And lo and behold, we can see that it's PW6, which is titanium white, PB15-1, phthalo blue red shade, and PG7, phthalo green blue shade. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will just give you these designations and won't tell you the, the name of the color, but Golden always does, which I love. So why is this important? Why would you even need to know this, right? Why would you geek out this hard? Say you're working in your studio and you're working on a beautiful painting of a landscape with a blue, blue sky, and you run out of your cerulean blue, <gasps> what do you do? Do you risk your life and go to the art supply store to buy more cerulean blue? Or do you say to yourself, that's a mixture. Let's see if I have these colors in my studio. Lo and behold, I am gonna bet that you've got some PW6 titanium white I'm also gonna guess that you have a phthalo blue. So this is PB15-3, not PB15-1. So this is the green shade, not the red shade, but I'm gonna guess we can get away with using this. And of course, we've got some PG7, which is phthalo green blue shade. So with these three colors here, you can go ahead and approximate cerulean blue hue and keep painting. So you can order your paint online and wait a couple days and it's not gonna slow you down because you know how to mix this color. So when your teachers make a palette for you, a lot of times they're gonna only include these single mixture paints like this because with those paints, you can make things like cerulean blue hue. So there's no need to actually go ahead and buy it. So there's a database that lists all the colors. I'll post it in the information below. Why don't you take all your tubes out in your studio, look for the pigment designations and look them up and see which ones are mixtures and which ones are single pigment.